Now you are born. It's about all of the working class coming together and the importance of recognising that miners had a brain. You toiled in the bowels of the earth, it wasn't pleasant. But you always look forward to the second Saturday in July when you can join your, your colleagues, your comrades that you've toiled with. Well, what's unique about the Miners Gala is it almost feels like an event in which not only the people who are there that day are taking part, but all the people who've ever been there are taking part. You feel really that sense of history. It's just about recognising what women have done. We really want to give women a voice and we want to show people that you can make a difference. Because what happens to women is we do things, then we go back behind the scenes and history forgets that we've ever been there. If everyone could have a fraction of what I felt today, the inspiration I felt today and the, the resolve to carry on the struggle, then it's going to be fantastic for the movement in general. The noise, the colour, the good nature feel is something to be experienced. Well, the most remarkable thing about the Durham Miners Gallery is that it's still there. There aren't any pits in Durham. There aren't any at all in Britain in total. But in the course of the past few years, there's undoubtedly been a massive increase in the turnout. You hear a lot more people say, I'm not from a mining background, but I come to this event and the hair stands up on the back of my neck. Because there's something about people collectively celebrating what they believe in, which is immensely powerful. It's the big meeting that brings us all together to show just how proud we are. I'm glad that every year more and more people come together to take part in the act of solidarity and defiance. Listen, this is the best trade union in the Labour Day in Europe, undoubtedly. I just quite simply couldn't miss the Durham Miners' Gala. <laughs>